today i'm just uh, going to discuss about uh, one of the very uh, uh, important thing that uh, anybody who have diabetes they should do so few things if they do it in a lifetime so that will definitely help you in uh, managing your diabetes and also have a better quality of diabetes always uh, one thing you have to think uh, so i am seeing patients with diabetes for uh, more than uh, 40 years and uh, they are 80 plus they are having a better quality of life they don't know that they just uh, have diabetes itself they just come and see me just to, once in 3 months to say hi and uh, the reports as such every time they they see they bring it under control what i'm just trying to tell is if you have a diabetes you just uh, form a team so it's always team work works so it is not a physician alone the healthcare team you develop so is going to help you in a lot of ways to improve uh, your glycemic control the diabetes control as well as uh, uh, you can have a better uh, care with uh, all uh, things there are a lot of things uh, we have to concern when you have a diabetes it's not alone just bringing the glycemic control good control but also at the same times how to prevent your heart and kidney how to protect your foot how to manage your eyes and what are the test you have to do it on a particular time to prevent you from getting into complications of the futures so few things i will just discuss today so which will help you in uh, having a healthy life during this diabetes journey you don't think about uh, you have diabetes when you just follow these tips so first thing is actually uh, there are four pillars of diabetes care is there so one is uh, the healthy nutrition so you just identify a healthcare team who have a better nutritional things it's not just a, a thing that uh, we know no we have a knowledge about basic nutrition but when you have a nutritionist with you who can have a health tips about how to manage your diet they will give a health tips and if you follow it religiously you can have a better control with the glycemic and also the dosage of medicine can also be reduced the other thing is uh, uh, about the exercise there are a lot of myths about uh, exercise so what we have to do what we should not do so basically the guideline recommends a 30 minutes daily at least 5 days a week which is going to help you in managing your glycemic control and also some flexibility exercise some stretch exercise and also not uh, leading a sedentary lifestyle uh, we should uh, walk at least uh, 10 minutes after 30 minutes or 45 minutes of sitting for some time so these are all the basic exercise tips and you have to follow the other thing is monitoring and uh, monitoring in the sense so what type of things you have to do during a particular time so every time uh, actually uh, when you visit a doctor it is not a thing you have to do a battery of test so it is uh, actually discussed with your doctor you have to do a test at a particular time when you have a diabetes you go for a hba1c that's called the average blood sugar glycose related hemoglobin hemoglobin once in 3 months and aim for hba1c around 7 and it depends upon the age of the patient and also the other comorbid illness like example patient is having a kidney problem or liver problem. it is individualized and your doc- doctors will discuss with the things what is your target hba1c can keep so that you can have a better quality of life that you have to discuss the other parameters you have to check basically is their blood pressure monitoring and every visit and even if you have a little high bp you closely monitor in a frequent regular intervals so that you can adjust your regular medication dosage also after discussing with a doctor the other thing is the see the cholesterol so cholesterol the lipid profile which you can uh, do that will identify your good cholesterol and bad cholesterol so the good cholesterol hdl uh, it should be above 45 for male and for female it should be more than 50 and the ldl cholesterol that's a bad cholesterol it should be less than 100 and the other cholesterol called the triglyceride which is going to deposit the fatty uh, things in the liver so uh, and also it can just go high in a diabetes especially if it is not controlled it should be less than 150 so these are all the numbers you should uh, know and also you can discuss with your doctor so this is the basic parameters you have to do it on a routine things lipid profile you can do once in 6 months if it is controlled then you can do it once in a year the basic other test you can do is your kidney functions the urea creatinine and then the microalbumin test that is a urine test that will identify any kidney damage this you can do it in once in a year and other test what i uh, just to get is a basic uh, uh, work up like you can just uh, do the ecg the echocardiogram once in a year to identify your heart functions and uh, the main important thing you have to do is your uh, eye checkup at least once in a year you have to go for things to rule out any eye changes especially to rule out the diabetic retinopathy so these are all the basic things you have to do and uh, the more important thing what you have to do is you uh, just uh, monitor your foot so whenever you go and visit the physician on every visit and uh, also like uh, we care more about our face and uh, when you have a diabetes your foot care is more important than the face care you have a separate mirror for uh, my, my checking your foot so you have to just uh, check your uh, feet regularly to identify any small changes in the feet so these are all the things you have to just uh, monitor and uh, fourth pillar comes the medication and follow so this you have done so diet exercise and then the monitoring 
next thing comes about the medications so medications always uh, uh, the common mistake people will do is uh, once a doctor prescribes the medications they themselves uh, do the self monitoring sometimes they won't follow so they check the self monitoring where self monitoring in the sense they check it as a random they think if it is normal why we have to meet the doctor so they avoid treating uh, meeting the doctors so if they just constantly keep in touch with the doctors they will adjust the medications they will identify which medicines work for you and they can uh, give a thyroid dosage of medications that will just improve the glycemic control and prevent the complications in the future so this is the one thing they have to do it but how about the visit doctor if you ask me early four times if you visit the doctor that is enough so that will reduce your chance of hospitalization in the future also so once in three months you check your hbnc and meet your physician and uh, take the medications what you advise and uh, four visits that will enough for you to just uh, uh, bring the glycemic level under control so this is a basic uh, tips the four fillers if you follow you don't worry about uh, that you have diabetes itself